Love is a beautiful emotion, a beautiful feeling. When we are in love, when we are giving love and we are receiving love, it's like oxygen for our emotional body. It energizes us. It makes us feel useful. It makes us feel purposeful. It makes us feel loved. It makes us feel valued. And it helps us propel ourselves into doing various different things. It brings out the best in us. However, there are many instances in our lives, in many relationships, where our love, our amazing love towards another person is not reciprocated. And it can be a very painful experience. It's like losing the oxygen from your emotional body. So you're fully in love, you're doing everything for that relationship, you're connecting, you're trying everything, but you don't receive the love from the other person. Various emotions come into our mind at that time. We can feel extremely disheartened, discouraged. We may start wondering about our own value. Like, am I not lovable enough? Am I doing something wrong? Maybe I need to become more perfect. Maybe I need to do something better. And many times it can also turn into anger, where we are angry with the other person that, hey, you're my mother, you're my father, you're my brother, you're my friend, you're my husband, you're my wife. You must love me. This is what this relationship is all about. And it becomes even more painful. The person starts withdrawing further away from us. Now, how do we pacify ourselves in these situations? How do we take care of ourselves? And how do we take care of the need of love in our life? What do we do? So one thing we all need to know is just that how we felt when our love was not reciprocated with, it became extremely painful for us and it became very, very discouraging for us. Similarly, a lot of people have gone through journeys and journeys and journeys in different relationships where their love was not reciprocated, where probably love was at a premium for them, where they received love only when they were perfect, or the people whom they were living with were not capable of loving them. So they were wounded, you got wounded, and you may continue the wounding further. We want to break that pattern. So what do we need to do? We need to first understand that many people have a low capacity to love. Their just capacity to love is low. And why is it low? Again, because love was at a premium for them and they couldn't trust the people that loved them. So their ability, their capacity to connect with others in a loving relationship is really low. So once we understand that, it reduces our problem to half. It makes us peaceful, at least half the way peaceful where we understand that it is not that that person doesn't love us or we are not lovable, it's just that their capacity to love is low. So that makes us a little bit peaceful, brings us to a calm state. Now, once we understand that, the second thing we need to do is we're still left with our need for love. So we want to make other friendly relationships with people around us so that our need of love, of sharing love and receiving love can be satisfied. So when we do that, our need of love is taken care of. However, there are many plants in a garden. Some plants need watering every single day. If you don't do that, they wilt. However, there are some plants that don't need watering at all. Their root system runs so deep and they're so well connected to the water system at the bottom that they don't need you to water them. Now we also want to go to that stage where we do have multiple relationships where we are sharing love but in case those relationships are not available at any given moment, we don't want to wilt like those other plants, but we want to be deep-rooted like those plants where our need of love is satisfied from within. When we are connected with our source, Krishna, the Supreme Father, we are His part and parcels. 
and he is the unending uninterrupted constant fountainhead of love he is the one with never ending love and when we learn how to connect with him krishna we are connected to this never ending fountainhead of love just like these plants with their roots running deep are connected to a never ending supply of water they never wilt so when we graduate to this when we learn how to connect with krishna then we are always in love we are always giving and receiving love unconditionally and that is what we are all looking for then we don't get hurt when our need for love is not getting satisfied by other people so instead of going down in our capacity to love because of one instance of unreciprocated love rather when we follow these three steps and finally connect with our source the fountain head of love unending supply of love our capacity to love increases like anything and when we are able to do that we are able to give love share love because we are receiving constant love we are able to share love in an unending way with other people and our compassion for those with a low capacity of love always increases so there's a lot of things we can learn when our love is unreciprocated because it finally connects us to our unending source of love thank you